I am with uh, Guillaume Jolin in the middle of the NAM uh, 2023 uh, craziness. Guillaume, how are you doing uh, this morning? I'm doing fine. It's yeah? actually a very busy show, so that's nice. Excellent. What's new for uh, Blue Cat Audio uh, this year? Uh, there are mainly uh, two new products uh, that we're showing at the NAM. Uh, well, the first one is called Fader Hub. Yeah. It's a network streaming uh, and mixing console uh, software. So you can uh, play with other people uh, either on a local network or through the internet uh, using the, the software. Okay, so it's actually to play uh, hundreds of miles or kilometers uh, from each other through this uh, software. Yeah, that's what, that's one way to use it, definitely. Okay, okay. good. Uh, and the other product is uh, the version 2 of Axiom uh, with many, many new things uh, uh, that we're showing here. Okay. So I'm going to flip the camera and let's see the kind of uh, setup uh, we have here. So we have a first uh, laptop here, which basically mimics the one uh, one musician. Yes, uh, yeah. there's a drum machine running on it, but it could be somebody playing actually. Yeah. And so the, the drum machine is running on this machine. Yeah. It's sending the audio via the network. So yeah. you can see behind. So we can see we have a router here, which basically simulates what is the, the internet, okay? And so that's uh, the audio is going through the, uh, the network this way yeah. onto this Mac Mini yeah. and uh, um, Ruben is playing guitar on this Mac Mini so he's, he's hearing uh, both his uh, signal, his guitar signal and the drums coming from the laptop and he's sending back his guitar onto the laptop here. Okay, uh, so here we have, so Ruben is here but in fact it's, uh, it would be the same if, if he would be uh, like uh, 200 miles uh, from here. Yes. And playing through the internet. So here if we go back to the first station we can see the, the signal coming from uh, Ruben, right? Yes, that's the one called Mac Mini here. Okay. And here is uh, it's the drum machine here. Okay. And so I can remix uh, the signals there, I can add some effects and I have uh, my own uh, headphone mix there uh, on the uh, on this machine yeah okay so we have the audio interface here so basically I can be playing from one side and Ruben would be playing from the other side and with uh, his very own mix and a different uh, kind of yes. uh, sound so we are both hearing different things but uh, the same instruments okay so on my, on my headphones here I have my own mix to play uh, together and the idea is to be able to do that through the internet. You have to have a fiber connection, so high-speed high connection yes. and fiber and Ethernet. Yes. So and the, wired cable, yeah, wired the connection. Yeah. The, the initial idea was to be able to do it locally on a local network, yeah. so you can have up to eight people uh, playing together. But it may also work uh, on your uh, internet connection remotely if you want. Uh, uh, um, but it depends on your connection. Okay. But it has to be a fiber optic. Yes. All right. And. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah. Sorry. And uh, one more thing is you can also record remotely. Oh, yeah, 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 very important. So here I can click on uh, record here. Um, I can arm uh, several tracks. And if I record, uh, I'll have uh, the master here. And also uh, every single track. So I have my own track, which is local. Uh, the Blue Cat one and the Mac Mini one is uh, the signal coming from the guitar from the other uh, device. So it is a remote multi-track uh, recording device on top of uh, being able to play uh, uh, remotely, uh, synchronously. Yes, exactly, yes. Okay. Excellent. And now let's flip to the other computer and see what's new with uh, Axiom uh, V2. So the, the main use with Axiom V2 uh, is, uh, as you can see it, here, uh, is the, uh, the new uh, user interface. Yes. So there's a new easy mode. So we still have the regular uh, full mode, if you click there. Up. So that's the full mode, okay. uh, where you can edit everything. Uh, but sometimes you want to switch into easy mode, like for example if you're playing a gig, or if you want to browse the presets, you don't want to have uh, all the options available. Um, so what this view uh, displays is uh, the amp, so one or two amps, it depends on if you're using one or two amps at the same time. Uh, then below you have the virtual pedal board, which has two parts. Uh, on the upper part you see the blue knobs out there, uh, which are macro parameters. 
So here, for example, I can control uh, the compression ratio. I can uh, change the delay uh, on all the reverb, which are parameters from uh, from effects uh, that are loaded in the session. Yes. And then below that, you have all uh, the effects that you can uh, enable or disable, okay. which correspond to the effects loaded in the session here. So here we have four effects, and it corresponds with uh, four, with the four effects, uh, four pedals uh, we have here. Yes. Okay. So if I add one more pedal, it's going to display one more switch. Okay. So it makes, it makes it also very easy to control via MIDI because you have all the parameters you want to control here. You just assign the MIDI controller and that, that's it. And uh, we have in Axiom V2 the same uh, recording functionality as we saw on Fader Hub, correct? Yes, you can record yourself and uh, directly in the app, so that's only for the application. Uh, not for the plugins. Uh, and there's also another option, you can uh, load some back-in tracks. So if you want to shoot a YouTube video, for example, you can have your back-in tracks uh, inside Axiom and record directly the outputs and put it into your video. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy. And you can also trigger the back-in track uh, using a pedal board uh, via MIDI. Uh, so if you play live, uh, you have all you need uh, in there. And the, and the other new thing uh, in Axiom V2 is uh, uh, you have some uh, new presets and new filters in the uh, arm simulation okay. with new graphics uh, that you can customize. And uh, when uh, are we going to be able to, to play with it uh, publicly, the Axiom V2 and the Fader Hub? Uh, both will be available in the next couple of months. Okay, so stay tuned on bluecataudio.com basically to have the latest information. Yes, definitely. Excellent. Thank you for the news, Guillaume, and I wish you all the best for the rest of uh, NAM 2023. Thank you, Pierre. Bye-bye.